Welcome to the section on fill. Today we're going to be looking at how fill helps to remove geometry from a model. What it does is it removes the material that you have selected on the design. Let's zoom on to this piece here. You'll notice that what fill is meant to do is to remove faces. Let's say I select on this round. If I click the fill tool, what it does is it removes what's selected, which is the round, and it extends the remaining faces. So what I always think about is select what I want removed and don't select what I want to keep. Notice how the red face extends and the green face extends. This works for rounds, holes, and any faces that are on a part or a model. Let's take a look at this hole for instance. Now, like we saw in Select and a few of the other tools so far, it's going to be important that we're selecting faces if we want to select faces. Notice with this hole, if I select it and I hit Fill, Fill removes that hole and extends the top face and the bottom face. If I undo by hitting the Undo button in the Quick Access toolbar, let's say I select the edge of that. You'll notice if I click the Fill tool now, what fill's going to do is it's not going to remove that hole. It's actually going to fill the area in between that edge and create a new surface. This is a nice technique if you wanted to change a through hole to a blind hole. In this case, we're going to undo in the Control Z or in the Quick Access toolbar, and we'll just click the hole and hit fill to remove it. Now, fill works with one face, but also with multiple faces selected at the same time. Let's zoom out and then zoom back in to the left side of the model. Remember, if you want to select chains of faces which are tangent, a fast way to do that is to double click. Notice this chamfer. If I double click, it selects that loop of faces. In the bottom right hand corner of my screen, I have seven faces selected. With these faces selected, if I hit the fill tool, what happens is that all of the faces selected are going to be tried to removed and the remaining faces are going to be kept. Notice the green face extends to the top, the red face extends to the top, the blue face extends to the top. So whether you have one face selected or multiple faces selected, it will try to remove those faces and extend the remaining faces. Same way if I box select these red faces. Notice based on the angle of the green face, and the blue face, when I hit fill to remove these, it extends these faces until they create this new corner. It's always going to be important to imagine how the geometry is going to be removed when you hit fill. For example, if I box select this remaining section, what do you think it's going to look like when I hit the fill tool? If you can imagine that in your mind, there's a good chance it's going to be able to happen. This face, I imagine, extends down, this extends down, this extends in, and it's going to remove that section and create these new edges and these corners here. I'm going to zoom out and look at one more example on the right side of the model before we continue. Let's take a look at this section here. Let's say I box select the end of this. I want to get rid of this part of the model and remove it and just have these faces extend together. You'll notice if I click the fill tool now, it only removed the rounds. If I click the fill tool again, it's highlighted in red. In the bottom of my screen, it's giving me a message that's saying it's failed to remove these faces. Let's undo and take a look at why this might have been happening. You'll notice what I select on attempts to be removed. So I'm attempting to remove all of these faces on the model. And whatever is not selected, it tries to keep. So if I go to a side view, what's happening is it's trying to extend this face into this one. If you extend these indefinitely, they will never hit each other. That's why the fill operation is failing. So in order to give space limit some information on where it should stop extending, oftentimes I'll control unselect a face. So by control selecting that green face, I've removed it from my selection. So now this cylindrical face extends to the green, and this cylindrical face extends to the green. 
So now when I hit the fill tool, it knows to extend it to this face, extend it to this face. So again, it's always important to think about how those faces are extending to remove the geometry you have selected. Let's take a look at another example on the top of the model. Here you'll notice I have a lot of rounds and faces selected and highlighted on this rib. Now one thing that I always mention with rounds is that you can select a round, hit fill, and oftentimes we'll attempt to remove just that face of the round. Notice it created an event on the right, an event on the left. I'm going to undo. The best practice for removing rounds isn't to remove them one face at a time. And again, another great example is if I try to click on this face here in the corner and hit the fill tool, Spaceclaim doesn't know how to remove those. Can you imagine what the geometry should look like if this face extends into this one on the top and extends into this extended one here? It's hard to visually imagine what that should look like. The best way to remove rounds is to remove them in the opposite order they're applied. By simply double clicking a round, you can get that chain of rounds that are there to let you fill them in and remove them at the same time. Now you'll notice this is a lot simpler to think about and look at. I could control select rounds to now remove them and get rid of them on the design. And as you remember with the tools we looked at earlier with pull, if I do want to add these rounds back in, pull would let me do that. I could double click to grab the edge, type in a value of one millimeter, double click an edge, type in a value of one millimeter. So you notice how you can easily remove rounds and put them back if needed. Let's look at one more example on the bottom of the part. So I'm going to rotate the model all the way to the bottom so we see three big yellow faces. I'm going to double click on this face in the top right. Notice once I've double clicked on that, I have 43 faces selected. That probably seems like a lot. I'm going to hit the fill tool and they're all easily removed. Why do you think that is? I'll double click on this yellow face and control double click on this one. Now I have 128 faces selected. This is going to be a very, very simple fill operation. The reason for this is because it's removing all of these faces instantly and simply extending this top face on the model to close this area. Again, simply extending this top face to remove this area. A much more complicated fill operation would be to box select just a few of these rounds and hit fill to remove them. In this case, it's making brand new edges and extending a lot more faces. So again, what's complicated in a fill is what's extending to remove those faces. So again, we'll double click the two yellow faces and hit fill to remove them. Now the last example I want to show you are these red faces here. Let's say we wanted to remove this little small inlet here. You'll notice we box select them. We have the red faces selected. But now how is this going to extend to remove them? This face, I guess, will extend here and here to form a sharp. But this face will never extend up to this one. How is it know, supposed to know whether to extend this and to clip these faces here? The important thing to remember when thinking about how you want to remove geometry is that you don't always have to use the fill tool. For example, to remove this little drop of this inlet here, it's really easy to not use fill, but to use pull. Simply select the face and pull it up to our face here, quickly removing that area without having to think about what faces should be kept and which faces should be removed. So remember, there's a whole suite of tools for removing geometry, and what fill does is simply extend the faces which are not selected and remove the faces which are selected. Thank you for watching our section on fill.